climate change is recognized as a significant man-made global environmental challenge and also treated as threat to humankind. It has the potential to adversely impact natural ecosystems and threatens food production. The Paris Agreement on Climate Change sets a target of holding the rise in global mean temperature to well below 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels while pursuing efforts to limit it to 1.5 degrees Celsius. Recently, Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change in its special report on global warming of 1.5 degrees Celsius clearly states that the world has already warmed by 1 degree Celsius. As a result, climate change is already affecting ecosystems, people and their livelihoods across the globe. Reducing emissions from deforestation and forest degradation and role of conservation, sustainable management of forests and enhancement of forest carbon stocks collectively known as Red Plus is one of the climate change mitigation programs in developing countries agreed under the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, that is UNFCCC. India on its part has played a major role so far as the role of forestry in climate change is concerned. In fact, India has been one of the leaders in Red Plus negotiation at the International Forum. It was mainly because of the initiative taken by India and other developing countries that the plus component of Red Plus was included. Implementation of Red Plus would result in lowering in emission of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases from forests on one hand and enhancement of carbon sequestration by forests on the other. Besides the carbon capture and storage, other co-benefits of Red Plus include enhanced status of biodiversity conservation, ecosystem services and strengthening the livelihoods of communities. Forest conservation has been a tradition in India and is amply reflected in the forest policies, acts and rules of the country. India is one of the developing countries where forest sector is a net sink of carbon dioxide. The Indian Himalayan region covers about 17% of the total geographical area of the country and is quite rich in forest cover and biodiversity of endemic flora and fauna. Major river systems in India such as Ganga, Yamuna and Brahmaputra etc. also originate from the Himalayan region. In the Indian Himalayan region, people are largely dependent on forests for their livelihoods. Climate change impact on forests will have adverse implications on the livelihoods of forest dependent communities of the Himalayan region. There are ample scopes and opportunities for integrating the Red Plus initiatives with the community controlled and managed forests. Red Plus Himalaya project which has been initiated in the year 2015 and which will last in December 2018 has been in a way game changer. IC mode, GIZ with the involvement of four Hindu Kush Himalaya region countries that is India, Bhutan, Nepal and uh, Myanmar have undertaken this project to develop the capacities in red plus of the local communities, local institutions and government departments. Red plus Himalayas project is mainly focusing on capacity building technology sharing and knowledge dissemination on Red Plus through South-South cooperation. ECMOD and ICFRE, we have had a very good collaboration under the Red Plus Himalay program for the last four years. Under the South-South cooperation component of the Red Plus Himalay, ICFRE was able to play a very instrumental role in 
sharing their knowledge and sharing the experiences in red with other regional member countries and i think it is this south south learning cooperation that really brought the countries together and uh, it was a perfect platform to share knowledge between the different countries the project resulted in increased capacity of stakeholders at different levels and development of standard knowledge products Indian Council of Forestry Research and Education ICFRE is an autonomous body of the Ministry of Environment Forest and Climate Change Government of India having pan India presence with its nine institutes and five centers located in different physiographic zones of the country Mizoram one of the eight states of northern eastern part of the country has been chosen as a pilot state for implementing the activities under the project forests are one of the important natural resource in mizoram and constitutes 18653 square kilometers of total forest and tree cover the project started with a project inception workshop organized at aiswal mizoram in january 2016 The project area constitutes of 12 villages of the district Mamit where main sources of income are agricultural practices piggery and poultry Majority of the local communities are dependent upon forests for collection of fuel wood fodder and other forest products Bamboo is a dominant natural resource of Mizoram and covers around 31% of its geographical area Bamboo has major contribution towards the socio-economic development in the state as many as 34 species of bamboo has been identified in the state of which melocana basifera locally known as mothak contributes about 77% of the total bamboo resource of the state growth and yield of five common bamboo species of the state have been studied for developing biomass equation for estimation of their biomass a demonstration plot of bamboo for growth and yield study has also been established at aiswal in mizoram we are uh, studying the growth and yield of this bamboo species and we are taking data every fortnightly so the base result we will be sharing with the farmers who are growing bamboo in their fields The project has also generated various knowledge products. A study report on stock taking of red plus in India highlighted red plus readiness and state of preparedness for red plus in India. Scoping study for red plus in the Kailash sacred landscape studied feasibility of implementing red plus in the Indian Kailash landscape region. Indian Council of Forestry Research and Education has played a major role in capacity building of the local communities a number of capacity building programs and workshops have been organized under the project for enhancing the capacity of the state forest departments research organization universities local communities and ngos for implementation of red plus training program on modalities of red plus in measuring reporting and verification mrv for local communities and other stakeholders in all villages under pilot project area of district mamit in mizoram were conducted training manual on red plus measurement reporting and verification for various stakeholders has been prepared and distributed to the stakeholders red plus and red plus mrv flyers in english and mizo languages have also been distributed to the local communities a workshop on national red plus strategy and action plan for india issues and challenges was organized at dehradun in august 2016 a regional stakeholder consultation and capacity building workshop on national red plus strategy for northeast india was organized at guwahati in assam in december 2017 these consultations provided vital inputs for framing india's national red plus strategy india occupies 2.4% of the world's geographical area it supports 17 to 19% of the 
global population and the cattle population. Despite all this pressure, the forests in the country are being maintained and also showing a rising trend. As per the latest uh, report of the Forest Survey of India on the state of the forest report, India has added 1% additional area under forest in the last two years. Therefore, India is on, on the right path and can rightly be one of the leaders in the world in the Red Plus strategy. I must congratulate ICFRA who have taken the lead for designing a strategy for Red Plus so that we can accelerate the process of carbon sequestration in the forests of the country. State Red Plus action plans for the states of Mizoram in northeastern India and Uttarakhand have been prepared through multi-stakeholders consultations process. These plans aim to address the drivers of deforestation and forest degradation and sustainable management of forests in the states. Shifting cultivation, also known as Joom cultivation or slash and burn agriculture has been identified as a major driver of deforestation and forest degradation. In shifting cultivation, a patch of forest is cleared and burnt. The cleared and burnt patch of land is used mainly for the cultivation of rice as a main crop and other subsidiary crops such as tobacco, cotton, chili and vegetables etc. Mizoram has a very high forest cover but in terms of quality we, have, we also have a very high proportion of open category of forest which needs to be addressed. Now one of the main reason for high category of open forest in the state is basically due to practice of shifting cultivation then uh, prevalence of uh, forest fire and over exploitation extraction of forest produce for meeting their domestic needs over time the productivity of the land diminishes and left as fallow land this unscientific farming system has resulted in large-scale deforestation loss of soil nutrient soil moisture and biodiversity. This has also resulted in drying up of springs as well as depletion of underground water reserves. In the project, strategies have been developed for addressing the drivers of deforestation and forest degradation for the state of Mizoram in consultation with the local communities. Activities like restoration of shifting cultivation patches, introduction of horticultural cash crops, terrace farming, shaded coffee plantation, development of entrepreneurship, employment generation opportunities and regular supply of LPG can directly improve the living standards as well as economic well-being of local communities in the state and would also be helpful for conservation of forests in the state. Turmeric is grown as a major cash crop by the households in the project villages and plays an important role in income generation activities. A solar dryer for drying of raw turmeric and turmeric processing with cooking unit have been provided to the project villages which is contributing in income generation of the local communities. Solar dryer has reduced the time taken by the raw turmeric to dry up completely before powdering. Cooking unit has reduced the consumption of fuel wood for cooking of raw turmeric. These modern facilities are motivating local communities to grow more turmeric on their permanent cultivated lands. Shaded coffee demonstration plantations have also been introduced in the community forest lands for providing an alternate income generation activities to the local communities and to reduce the extent of shifting cultivation. Exposure visits of the farmers from the project areas were organized to demonstrate the permanent type of successful cultivation models in neighboring state of Meghalaya. Fuel wood collection from forests have been identified second major driver of forest degradation. Improved cook stoves have been distributed to the local community of project village after providing training on the usage and benefits of improved cook stoves. Now fuel wood consumption per family 
in the village has been reduced from about 30 kilograms to 5 to 6 kilograms per day. Coming to the Rem Tuang in here, hey, took head to Kantman, head to Kantman, the Chang is one thing, a heck low here. I might the Johnny Kata Fox, some Nivel, the Kantmanga, do not join in Fagna, the Lickin, Rongan Bola, a chale, a safe M. Emma John, Hemi, a mea, he are na M. Emma, do it his own, my M. Emma Chagan, the Lenny. In order to scale up Red Plus actions in the northeastern states of India, a Red Plus working group was formed with its secretariat at Rainforest Research Institute at Jorhat in Assam. The working group is acting as an information hub for Red Plus in the region. India has a very uh, strong policy, law and legislation uh, say uh, structure which supports Red Plus implementation on ground. The only thing we need to dovetail is these policies with the framework of the Red Plus. And the Red Plus uh, Himalayas project gave us the opportunity to streamline these regulations for implementation of Red Plus. The Transboundary Red Plus Himalaya project gave an opportunity to project partners to work together in the region, to learn from each other's experience and to accelerate their collective actions aimed at conservation and enhancement of forest carbon stocks. ICFRE in collaboration with ECMOL and GIZ also facilitated the project partner countries to share their experience of project implementation with global audience at the various COP meetings of UNFCCC. Partner countries shared their experience and knowledge on Red Plus implementation during COP21 COP22 and COP23 of UNFCCC. The project on Red Plus Himalayas, developing and using experiences in implementing Red Plus in the Himalayas, has increased capacity of stakeholders at different levels, developed knowledge products, guidelines and action plans on Red Plus and institutional mechanism for implementation of Red Plus activities in the region as envisaged in National Red Plus Strategy for India. The Indian concept of Red Plus is very comprehensive that addresses drivers of deforestation, forest degradation, conservation of forest carbon stocks and sustainable management of forests. This is what we have negotiated under UN Climate Conventions and we are attempting on ground through Red Plus Himalaya project. All the activities under Red Plus Himalaya projects are implemented successfully in the state of Mizoram and learning of the projects need to be upscaled in other parts of the Himalayas.